is um, up until this point, we have been looking at parts within SolidWorks, all right? From the sense that when we go file new, we've been dealing with parts, all right? Parts we should know are single entities or single components. The next option that we have are assemblies. Assemblies are the combination of two or more components. Okay, so if you think about a finished uh, wheel assembly, maybe one component would be the wheel, the next component would be the tire, and you bring them together in an assembly. We'll talk about that a little later down the road. The next and final piece are drawings, and drawings, if you take a look here, are two-dimensional engineering drawings um, that are used for representing a three-dimensional part or assembly. Okay, so what we're going to focus on today is um, how we can go ahead and take our three-dimensional parts and turn them into two-dimensional orthographic drawings. The first step to that is we need to create a title block. You remember when we first started our drawings by hand on our boards, we had a quarter inch margin that went all the way around. We'd have our name inserted, so on and so forth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit drawing okay. And if all you see are these couple options here, A1, A2, A3, A4, so on and so forth, uncheck only show standard formats so we see all these other drawing sizes. Um, if we click on A ANSI, we have the ability to go all the way from A, B, C, D, all the way E, so on and so forth. Our printing um, capabilities, we have A portrait and A landscape within this room, which is eight and a half by 11. Over in the other room on our large roll printer, we can go all the way up to a 34 by 22 inch, which is a size D sheet. Our rims will be printed on a size D sheet. Everything else that you're printing will be on a size A landscape for the majority of the time. So what we're gonna do today is set up our title block. First thing we're gonna do is select this A landscape and I'm going to hit okay. And you'll see all this information pops up. All right. Our whole goal here is to create a template that we can use um, every time over and over and over again, almost like those document templates that we spoke about. So if I go up to my edit, and I'm going to hit edit sheet format. What we can do is start erasing this content just as if it were any other line that we've been working on. And that's crucial. Make sure you're in edit sheet format. If you forget that step, you're not going to be able to edit any of these lines. So I'm going to click on edit sheet format. And now I can take my sketch tools like my trim entities or whatever it might be and simply trim out all this nonsense. All right. If you take a look at a lot of this stuff, um, like this proprietary and confidentiality statement, this would be for if you worked at a large corporation, let's say like Pratt & Whitney, um, where the information contained in the drawing could be vital or critical to patents and so on and so forth like that. Uh, you would insert a proprietary statement saying that the drawings uh, could be you know, protected by patents, so on and so forth. On the same hand over here, um, you're going to have who has the who you know who the drawing is drawn by, but in terms of engineering approval, manufacturing approval, quality control, we don't need that for our particular instances. The other thing we want to do is we want to start altering and modifying this title block to meet our needs. So with that said, you're going to use your drawing tools as well as simply modifying the text that's here, clicking on the text, dragging the text. We can double click on the text and modify the text um, to go ahead and get a customized title block. Okay, now what I want this title block to look like is like this. Okay, where over on the far left, we're going to have um, Summers High School Engineering Graphics with our Spartan Head logo. We're going to move over to the title of the drawing, material and finish. The material and finish would be, let's say if you were working on our wheel assignment here, um, material could be aluminum for the wheel, but then you could have had a black powder coating or something like that. Size A is referring to the sheet size, a scale of one to one. Um, in our rim assignment, obviously we're not going to have a one to one drawing, 
So um, we might have that, you know, one to five or whatever it might be. Drawing name would be the drawing name, um, and then your name is going to get inserted here. All right. Now, if you need to insert text that's not there, if we come up to annotations, note, you can simply click in here and type whatever it is that you need. Remember when working within uh, technical drawings, all text should be uppercase. So please make sure that all your text is in uppercase. It is critical to know that all dimensions are in inches, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this inserted into this title block somewhere too. All right, so I'm gonna take this and I'll slide our title over. Um, material and finish will slide over. Let's try bringing this down and I'll insert another line right here. All right, that will allow us to, that will allow us to get this um, title block laid out like such. All right, so what I want you to do today is you're going to take the time to modify the title block of a size A, which would be this one, and you're going to get it modified to meet our requirements, which will look like this. All right. Make sure you're using edit sheet format to get your title block uh, to fit into these parameters. All right. We will ultimately start inserting uh, our views in here. When you're done editing this, you can simply edit sheet. So all the rest of this will gray out and you can't modify it anymore. It becomes your template. And then we can file save as, and let's call this Kozlowski underscore title block A, okay? And, you know, however you want to name this, but that way I can go ahead and save this. And anytime I go to pull up a title block, I could open this, my title blocks there, and I could start inserting my views right away. In the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to start inserting views into here and start dimensioning this so that you could ultimately start printing this stuff out and submitting it via two-dimensional orthographic projections.